G'day Bomber fans, now there's been quite a bit of news in the last few days regarding our injury list. A lot of us fans are not pleased with what we are seeing, and I know you're already thinking the same thing I'm thinking of, uh, Sam Draper, but I'm not going to go through just him today, I'm going to go through all our injury news. We've had some surgeries to note, a few players tracking well, some not tracking as well, but let's go through our current injury list and the players who could be in doubt for pre-season or maybe even round one. So we start with Sam Draper, he has had a surgery on his groin, this is a really frustrating situation because he has had issues with the groin and his hip late into the year. It plagued him a bit before he was sidelined, but then he was rushed back early for that GWS game. The club was originally going to take a conservative approach and nurse him into training around Christmas. They backflipped on this and tried to nip the groin problem in the bud. It's for the best. He has surgery, I reckon. You can't have niggles with dynamic power players like Draper, but the fact it's happened so late is frustrating because now he won't start training until possibly late in January, some reckon. This is going to mean he misses a lot of preseason, which is never ideal for fitness, so he could be a bit rusty early into the 2024 season. Jake Stringer is a bit like Sam Draper. This is what Draper's situation could have been, actually, looking at it. He had foot surgery before the season ended, uh, so he's been resting that post-surgery, which means he's already weeks ahead of development compared to Draper with his rehab. Uh, so he's expected to be ready for full training at the start of January, um, a bit after the rest of the team for preseason, a month or so. Uh, hopefully, we don't see any other niggles like we often do with Stringer. Tex Wanganin also had post-season surgery. Well, actually, this might have been before the year ended as well because he had that uh, navicular injury into in his second to last VFL game, I think. He got surgery on that ankle or foot, whatever that area of the leg is. Um, he has had this injury before, so the surgery was important to get done to try and stop that pesky problem. He could be out a little while. He'll be out for most of the summer. He won't have a full preseason, so that's not going to be ideal going into what is a crucial year for him and his future at the club. Jaden Laverty had surgery. This was something that occurred after the season or late into it. He had some wrist pain while doing strength work at the gym. It was causing him some grief, so he got that fixed. It shouldn't be too much of an issue for his preseason. He's already uh, back gaming over in his Twitch account, I think, as well. Uh, the grind doesn't stop. Peter Wright had plantar fasciitis, I believe, which is just such an annoying injury. I've had it a bit as well. Uh, really more niggly than anything else, so he may have to rest that one off uh, a lot. With those, you really have limited amounts of things you can do. It's all about waiting for it to uh, surpass and then engaging in more intense activity after that, so we'll wait and see how long he's out for. There is not a set time frame with plantar fascia injuries, usually. Dylan Shield is in a similar situation. He has this nagging foot complaint that he had throughout 2023, really. Uh, we don't know when he will be able to train fully. I'm sure the club doesn't even know either. It's all about trial and error. He will probably get into it a bit over the summer and if it keeps causing him grief, he will need to modify his program a bit. Jordan Ridley, Jack Caldwell and Zach Reed all missed the year, uh, the end of the year with muscle injuries. Well, actually, Caldwell's was a hip, um, but they're all going to be fine for preseason. I don't know if they're attending the Arizona camp, but Ridley has been working on his grappling professionally to try and set him up for more competitive footy, which is good. Harry Jones is apparently progressing well from his back stress fracture. I am in the same case. Uh, you guys, if you're wondering, my back stress fracture has been bothering me for far too long. I'm finally doing something about it. I know you guys don't care, but with these, it's all about rest, uh, not overdoing anything, and strengthening what you can around the back to ensure it doesn't bother you again. It's a worry that I know a lot about these, uh, some of these injuries because I've had them, and uh, that's not what you want to be hearing from a 23-year-old. But uh, speaking of uh, these injuries, Jaden Hunter and his back stress fracture, that seems to be progressing just as well as Harrison Jones. Now, like I said before, there is a little boot camp-esque trip that half the team is going on. Andy McGrath and Carl Langford apparently sent the word out to try and get as many teammates as they possibly could to join them in Arizona for a training camp. Uh, 15 to 20 are going to be there apparently. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. So that's going to be happening soon. I don't know when. Um, and then early in November, the first week in November actually, the rookies uh, um, and up to the fourth year players will be returning for training. We will hope to see them joined by some senior figures as well. But the whole team will be at the hangar for mandatory training on November 20. So that's when it gets real. But that is all. Cheers for watching. Just a little squad fitness update. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. Also, let me know if there are any video ideas you want me to record. I'm going on a little trip myself in November, so I'm going to try and film as much now as I can uh, so I can release content while I'm away for a few weeks in Japan. But that's all. Cheers for watching and go Bombers.